Hi there! In this episode, let's talk about the importance of good documentation. This is Angela, and she has started handling level 2 support from home. There are times when she reads escalated cases, she is confused with what really happened. Angela decides to call the customer. The customer has to explain everything again and go through another round of troubleshooting. This can be frustrating for customers who have to repeat themselves every time they talk to a different support person. What is documentation? Documentation is creating a history of events that happened during a transaction. This can be used in a variety of situations, say during business calls or meetings. When events are documented, this can be used as reference when needed. And as the saying goes, if it is not documented, then it never happened. People think that documentation is a summary of events. Correct in some way, but it doesn't mean it is accurate all the time. For example, you receive a call from a customer wanting to know about the Bluetooth feature of a product you are supporting. After the call, you indicate, Customer called about a product feature. Answered customer. Asked customer for anything else. Customer has no other concerns. End call. Sound familiar? In this example, anybody reading it will know that a customer called and was answered by an agent. However, questions may arise especially if this call runs through a quality check. What did the customer call about? Not documented. What product feature is it? Not documented. Why is the customer asking about it? Not documented. What was the agent's answer? No idea. The full detail of the call can only be understood when someone listens to it. This is detrimental to the next agent who would handle the same customer should the customer call back. You are not helping the customer, your colleague, and the business. What makes a good documentation? A good documentation is a detailed summary focused on relevant information. Practice thinking this way. Is it relevant? Will it be useful in the future? Having just these two points in mind will help you document better. Let's go back to our example. Customer called asking about the range of our Bluetooth speaker. Answered that the range is 10 meters or about 30 feet. Asked customer where he plans to place the speaker. Customer replied that he wants to control the speaker while he is lounging at the pool. Informed customer that as long as the music player and speaker are within Bluetooth range, he should be able to enjoy his music. Customer appreciated the information. Asked customer for other concerns. None. Closed the call. With this revised documentation, anybody reading it will have a proper idea on what transpired during the call. If the customer calls back about the same product, the next agent will have a proper reference point. It may be a challenge at the start. However, focusing on why you need to do your job well will motivate you to improve yourself. Bear in mind the two points mentioned earlier and you are well on your way to great documentation.